that better? Can can you hear me now? So I've been having some problems. Let me know if it's too loud, too quiet, whatever. I'll try and sort it. But yeah. So if anyone, if anyone can hear me, let me know, and I'll. Let me know, let me know in chat if you can hear me now. Hmm. I don't know if this is working. Please let us know. Good to see Rory in chat too. Good to see you here. Don't know if you can hear me, but yeah. We can hear now. All good? All good? Is audio good? Alright, sweet. That's good. I'm glad we've sorted that now. But in the meantime, the footy started. And we're two minutes in already. Alright, great. Perfect. Everyone can hear me, so that's good. So yeah, the game started two minutes ago. Welcome Sienna, welcome to the stream. Yeah. Adelaide inside 50 right now. Sort of a bit startled, because I'm not used to being just started and the game's already going. Here's a chance for Adelaide to kick the first. It's a goal. Has never away. So the Crows are on the board early. How are you, says Saurus. Thanks for asking, Saurus. I'm going, I'm going great. I'm just excited to be here. So yeah, had some technical problems. So yeah, as I said, it's not ideal, but yeah, not bad, not bad overall. How about, how about yourself? So Adelaide on the board with the first. Free kick advantage to Dangerfield. He's come charging out of the middle. Kick the D. Henry. Handball over the top. Myers. And he's popped it through. Very quick reply from Geelong. In football terms, not so great. I'm going well though too. Oh, Saurus. Yeah, I know. You poor thing. Collingwood, obviously... Losing again last night, so yeah, nah. Ah, uh, well, you saw a premiership last year, Sora, so, you know. You should just be happy with that, I guess. <laughs> anyway. I need a dinner, I'll be back here, fair enough. Alright, see you, Sora. Hope you have a good dinner. Yeah, interesting start to this game of football. Goal each way. So in the middle, Matt Crouch. Handball's over the top. Smith kick it out wide. It's going to be intercepted on the wing. Dangerfield charging forward with it. His kick's cut off, however. Ball in dispute near the boundary line. And roll is out. Andrew throwing on the wing. So yeah, if anyone's in chat right now, let us know. Uh, how are you? What are you doing? How's your week been? Thomas Footy, g'day Thomas Footy. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you back here again. So late in the footy. Wrapped that ball up. Yeah, sorry if my commentary is not as great. I'm pretty tired today, guys. So, plus I've just opened this coke and made a meal of it. So, that's not great. Here's my tip tonight. My tip's Adelaide. I mean, I could easily see Geelong winning, but you know, I think you gotta sort of go with Adelaide, don't you? 
I mean, obviously, both played in quite close games last week, but you just saw that surely at the Adelaide Oval right now, you'd still have to back Adelaide in. Sienna's doing great. How about myself? I'm all right, Sienna. Oh, I'm not too bad. Oh. I'm just intrigued for this game of football, to be honest. I mean, the first two streams I've done in the first two weeks, the, ups, the underdog has won, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens today. Unbranded says hello. Welcome, Unbranded. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Rory, I ignored you, I ignored your chat before, but yeah, nah. Crows by 24, that's easily... Could definitely see that happening, so, you know. Certainly possible. It's probably about almost, well, close to, like, par. Like, sort of, like, even. In the meantime, DeLong kick forward and Stengel marks inside 50. Against his old side... Tyson Stengel. And this to give the Cats the lead here early in the first quarter. Tyson Stengel. Only up a goal. He pops it straight through the middle and the Cats have their second. So yeah, interesting start. Interesting start here. I mean, it's sort of been relatively even, but yeah. Geelong get their second. It's funny, this is the sort of game where, um, it's the sort of game where, like, I feel like not many people would be tipping Geelong, but it's like, doesn't mean they can't win. Like, they could just win, you know what I mean? It's the sort of game where no one would tip them, but they, you know, so easily could win it. Good start for the Cattery, though, showing some promising signs. That's right, Rory. Looking good so far. Two goals to one. So, yeah. Interesting start. start to this game of football. I mean, interesting, it's the sort of game Adelaide, you know, they want to be, if they want to be taking the next step this season, Adelaide, you'd, they'd be hoping to win a game like this. And also, as for Geelong too, if Geelong won, like, you know, Two from two. Free kick going the way of 
The Adelaide like Crows. Interesting stuff. So let us know in chat, guys. Also, something I've been interested about because um, I did nearly stream last night's game, St Kilda and Collingwood. But yeah, what do you all think of that game of football? I mean, what do you think of the implications for Collingwood? Because I, mean, I haven't spoken to many people about it, so I just want to hear some what the community thinks. Anyway, in the meantime, the Crows go into the 50. Walker nearly takes a mark. Ball still there in dispute. Chance here. Rankin over his head. And it bounces out of bounds. That was bizarre stuff. Watched it work and it was lit. That's interesting. That's interesting, Sienna. I'm glad to hear it was lit. But, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. I was there, great to see the Pies leaving early again. <laughs> yeah, no, interesting, Rory, yeah. Did make a, um, don't know if any of you know this, or if all of you know this or anything, but yeah, I posted a clip from my stream last week on um, TikTok and Instagram Reels about that, so yeah. Got a lot of views, a lot of people sharing their interesting opinions, but anyway. I think it's a good call from you streaming tonight, though. It should be a bit more interesting than last night. <laughs> Saw that game, you kind of laugh. Yeah, good stuff, Rory. I knew, I knew you'd like that one. <laughs> good. But yeah, tonight, last night was pretty interesting. If I streamed last night, I'd be guaranteed that uh, it'd be three upsets from three, but yeah. Pretty scrappy game so far, a lot of... A lot of neutral ball here. Free kick to Blitzars. Near the middle of the ground, Blitzars wheels and goes. Kicks it up to half forward. High footy, the Crows just thump it away. The Coning leading the foot race. Handball to Guthrie. Zach Guthrie kicks it inside the 50. And the ball's out of bounds. Interesting football. I'm interested to see where this one goes. I know I've said that a lot now, but yeah. I don't know what else to say really about this game of football. It's just sort of one of those games, isn't it? You just you just want to see what happens. Yeah, that's a dangerous kick. Going to be cut off Geelong to enter attack again to him, but it's a shocking kick from him. It'll be a boundary throw inside, inside Geelong's forward 50. Fit into the 50. High footy. Now ball in dispute here. Might be another boundary throw in. Crash keeps it in, however. Adelaide kick towards the wing. Ball hits the ground. Just sambling away here, Adelaide. Crouch again. Trying to search his way through. He finds his man. Miller takes the mark. Mark, welcome to the stream, Mark. Travis first. Me and Travis first. Yeah, when you just go lateral, uh, uh, Geelong are able to just get... Yeah, Dewey, Dewey should have stuck with the Blues. Career ruining transfer. Yeah, what was he thinking? Why would he, why would he go to Geelong ahead of Carlton? Just crazy. I don't like kick down the line. Oh, it's a good intercept mark though. Mark O'Connor. Holmes kicks it forward. Oh, Hawkins. Good mark. 
Wheels and goes again, deep into the 50. Ollie Henry's there, ball hits the ground. They should get a goal, and they do. That's, that's their third. Asking some questions of the Adelaide Crows now. Mmm. Interesting game of Australian football. So far. Goal number three for Geelong. And they lead it by 12 points now. Got a bit distracted there. In the meantime, Geelong take a mark to Dempsey deep in forward 50. Hello again, Soros is back from dinner. Good to see you had a nice and quick dinner, Soros. We've been missing you. Yeah, here's a chance here for uh, Cats to kick number four. Oh no, that's. It's not it at all. It's gone out on the fall. Dempsey's kicked it out on the fall. Now ball back to the wing. Crows fly at it. Can they win some footy here? They can't get it past the middle at the moment. Tom Stewart marks. Sends it forward. Can they get a mark here on the 50? Crows try and punch it away, but Geelong has still got the numbers. Handball to Myers. Myers, can you kick number four? He can. Goal number four for Geelong. It's getting getting intriguing now. Yeah, Soros, Geelong are in front. Intriguing, intriguing stuff here at the Adelaide Oval so far. Goal number four for Geelong. And they're asking some questions of Adelaide at the moment. So, a third upset from my third stream. Certainly on the cards at the moment. Just can't get it past the middle at the moment, Adelaide. That just seems what's going on. Just not a great spoil there. I mean, he could have marked that ball. And if he wasn't going to mark it, you had to get the ball out of the area, which didn't happen. And they're looking dangerous at ground level. Myers with a couple. Manor with that one before, so... Back in the middle now. And he gets the wins a rough contest, but it goes sent forward for Adelaide. Home searching for it. Ball in dispute about 60 out from Adelaide's goal. It comes out there somehow. Dangerfield handball over the top. Players everywhere, but Geelong get it out of there. Towards the wing. Can Dempsey keep it in? He can. And they're away now, Geelong. Into the 50. We're just outside, marking Hawkins. Hawkins kicks it in. And it looks to be out on the fall. And it is. Have they paid a free kick? They have. Oh no, it's a throw-in. Well, something's going on, a throw-in? What happened there? Oh, I thought it was clearly out on the fall. I guess it was only just. In the meantime, Stengel pouncing on it. Adelaide looking to find a way through. They kick a short clearance kick and Rochelle marks it. Hey, TRVCL. Welcome. Welcome to the um, the live stream. If, um, if any of you don't know, which I guess most of you probably wouldn't, TRVCL has um, been... Uh, been a supporter of the channel for like 
what, it'd be like a good five, six years now. So, yeah. No, welcome to the stream and uh, how are you going? <laughs> I wouldn't mind Geelong winning after last night's crap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's in Soros' best interest now because Soros, as we all know, all your friends are Adelaide supporters, so yeah. Going good. How about me? I'm all right. I'm all right. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Are you a, you a Collingwood supporter? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. De yeah. Yeah. Depressed about yesterday. Yeah. That's right. I, yeah. You are a Collingwood supporter. So we've got a couple of Collingwood supporters in in now. Yeah. Soros. That's right. He is a legend. Legend of the channel. Like he's. He'd be commenting first on my videos back when, uh, back in the very early days. Meantime, ball deep in Geelong's forward 50. Chance here for the Cats. Can Cameron keep it in? It's a boundary throw in, it looks like. The Adelaide players thinking, looked like a push in the back on Dempsey there. Adelaide players, yeah, they're doing a score review to see if it was, uh, over the behind line, and it's a terrible camera angle. <clears throat> it looks like a point, but are they going to say, you know, they don't know or whatever? You're like a dad watching you grow up and now you're becoming even more popular. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like you're my dad too, you know, been, been supporting since day one, so... Guess it's it's pretty similar. <clears throat> yeah, nah, it's crazy, isn't it? That was like it was back in like 2018. You'd be commenting on our uh, all the videos, so yeah, that's a while now. Long while. Or he would say, "On your TLVCL, that's right, Rory. He's a legend of the channel." Legend of the uh, of the uh, AFL YouTube community he is. So been going at it for years. Cause he would have been here since I had about a hundred subscribers, I think, maybe less. I don't know. But yeah, another. Anyway, that score review went for ages. That finally concluded that it will be a behind to Geelong. As Adelaide, in the meantime, are moving it very quickly through the middle. And it looks a bit too easy. They're suddenly well out the back. And it's a goal. And Burgess kicks a goal. And that's what Adelaide needed now. Finally uh, got their second after getting their first. In the very early stages of this game. <clears throat> there we go. Remember that 2017 beat about the grand final? Eight-year-old me used to watch it every day. <laughs> oh. That's that's great. So wait, which twenty, which which video are you talking about? The one about the grand final. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm glad to hear you are watching it every day. Wow. Yeah, our score review system is absolutely hopeless. Needs to change. It's just how long it takes. You know what I mean? Like something like that, where they're waiting good couple of minutes to work out whether it's a behind or no score. It just all seems a bit most popular video. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, the one with, um... Yeah, the one with all the grand finals scores. I think it might be my second most popular now because I think something else overtook it. But they're very similar, so I don't know. It's funny, I used to pay so much attention to that, but I sort of... 
you know, like exactly what my most popular video was and how many uh, views it had. Don't mind my spelling, I'm playing RL right now. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, that's alright. I trust that you are, are actually better at spelling than that. So there we go. It's a long way to buy 14 points with five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Mandry throw it on the wing. Adelaide can't find a way to it'll be another ball up. Definitely hard to get a grasp on this game so far. But yeah, for me it depends on whether uh, Adelaide can get their way, work their way back into it quickly or if it's going to be one of those games where Geelong just keep them at arm's length for some time. Looks like a free kick going to Brad Close. Just outside 50, so not very close. Kicks it into the 50. Long and deep. Almost went all the way. It was punched through from behind. The Adelaide Crows. Or the, the Geelong Cats. Now lead it by 15 points. Have the opportunity to go to this game with your mates. Why didn't you want to? Is it? Did you choose not to because you didn't want to see an Adelaide win, or what? What, what was the uh, the decision making? And you're throwing in some inside Geelong's forward 50. O'Connor handball over the top. High footy still in there for Geelong. And we another ball up. So yeah, interesting. Interesting at the moment. Adelaide kicking that goal back. But since then, haven't put any more damage on the scoreboard. But Geelong have sort of been in control since... Adelaide now finding a way through. Charging through. Here you go, Adelaide, right up the middle. Geelong win it back once again. Kicking it long towards the wing. Too long for Myers. Adelaide just handling it around now. Now they opt for the switch. Can you get down the ground? This is what happened before. They've got a lot of open space if they can do it. They can get it forward. Burgess marks just there, side 50. So you have a shot. He just sets it up to the goal square. But it's going to be punched through from behind. So an opportunity gone begging there. For Adelaide, it's behind. I don't know, I felt like they were going to win and didn't want to see them win. Oh, yeah, fair enough, Soros. I mean, it would probably be okay if, uh, if things were going a bit better for Collingwood now, but yeah, I can understand, particularly in the current state of things for Collingwood, that, yeah, not ideal. It's interesting, Collingwood... You know, I mean, Brisbane Collingwood next week, huge, but I mean, we were the first team to lose to Geelong last year after they were 0-3, uh, me being a Hawthorne supporter, so yeah. Battle Cats Gamer says, hey guys, hey Battle Cats Gamer, welcome to the stream. Let us know your uh, thoughts of um, the football so far and whatnot.
Tom Hawkins now. <sighs> this will get it out to a 20 point lead for the Cats. He steers it through. That's a good goal and the Cats kick away. Now that's a good start now. Anyway, let's update this scoreboard. Pax Z says hello, Matt. Hello, Pax Z. Welcome to the live stream. Anyway. Let me update this scoreboard now. It's this is this was part of the problem. The stream started late because this scoreboard was uh, playing some tricks on me that got it working now, but there we go. Seems to be alright. Darcy made him on the Fortnite account. Ah, oh, good stuff, Darcy. Good stuff. Yeah, cheers for, cheers for popping into the stream. How many touches for Brandon Parfit tonight, you reckon, Tuby? Good question, Rory. That's a good question. Um, he will have let's see how many he's got at the moment because you know that's got to uh, that's got to be a bit decisive I'm going to say he'll have hmm, I'm going to say he'll have 15 <laughs> oh have a look at that Jeremy Cameron has Kick the goal from long range. Things are not getting better for... Not getting better for Adelaide at the moment. So yeah, looking at another upset here at the moment. Adelaide just not quite looking themselves at the moment. It's really just... Lack of hunger from the senior players now. They've finally won their flag. Yeah, TIBCL talking about Collingwood. Yeah. It just sort of feels like... I mean, no, nothing... Not discrediting Collingwood's premiership in any way, but... You know, it just sort of feels like after all those... So many close wins for so long, it sort of felt like... If it was going to come crashing down, it, you know, sort of like... Things could, you know, things so, luck suddenly goes the other way, you know what I mean? But yeah. Now it'll be interesting to see if they can work it back, Collingwood, now. In the meantime, Adelaide into the 50. Chance here, Walker. Can't quite search it. But here's a chance for Adelaide just feeding the handballs through. Looks like they've stuffed it up here. The Cats have got the numbers now. The ball hit the behind post there. Looks like it did. Oh, what's going on? There's more chaos. Where am I sitting for the Hawks game? I am sitting level two of the Shane Warne stand. Yeah, nah. Interesting game tomorrow. I really, really hope that we... Seriously, put up a fight, make a real game of it. That's what I'm hoping. Bro, comma, comma cooked. Yeah, well, they're not looking like it at the moment. I mean, obviously, it's still very early days. It could work into this one, but Geelong just look all over them at the moment. And it's the sort of game where if they can't, you know. If they can't fix up what they're doing, I could easily see Geelong really making them pay. Like, Geelong, they're the sort of side that you could see going on the road and then, you know, just teaching a young side a lesson sort of thing. Anyway, Cal's ball and Geelong rush are behind there. Adelaide players wanting deliberate, but, yeah. Who did the Mighty Hawks play? We played Melbourne. So, yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll just see what happens. I'll say that much. Rochelle flying 
taking a big grab there. And he'll have a kick after the siren here to hopefully for them pull the pull the crows back a goal. Anyway, I'm not dating the score, but I might need to do it again very quickly. Josh Rochelle. Pops it through. Pretty simple goal there. And the Adelaide Crows get a much-needed goal on the quarter-time siren to make the scoreboard look far more respectable and reasonable at the moment. We've done well against the Ds in the past. Hopefully we can pull through. Yeah. I mean, we have a couple of times. Haven't beat them, though, since... Haven't beaten them since 2018. So, yeah, that's a while. Well, I do remember during our... In 2021, when there was a uh, no crowd, we did draw. We did have a draw against them at the MCG when we were like nine dollars fifty to win or something. So that was crazy stuff. There we go. Quarter time. I think Hawthorne will put up quite a good fight against them. I hope you're right. Like, last week, we were pretty wasteful, so we definitely could have... Definitely could have potentially won that game, but, yeah. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm just, you know... We're sort of at the point now... We can't keep just losing and then saying it's all right, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, last week, oh, it's respectable, you know. A bit wasteful, but, yeah, nah... Got to start, got to start really taking it up on a consistent basis to these sides. We're going to be a finals contender anytime soon, so yeah. Just need to make, just need to make sure we're making the most of our set shots. That's right, that's right, definitely, definitely. I mean, I'm sure we can create opportunities. I mean, last year that was a lot, big problem in that sense. Like, you know, we... Like, the first time we played Melbourne last year, we'd kick one goal at half-time. And another game against Carlton, we'd kick none at half-time. So, you know, that's clearly been an issue in recent times. But, yeah, a bit more firepower in the forward line now. So, hopefully, that won't be uh, a problem. Who and we, says Rory... Yeah, I'm going to... Sorry, Rory, but I'm going to have to agree with what uh, Billy just said in chat there. Tuning in for the big game. Yeah, g'day, Henry. Good stuff. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, nah, cheers for that. Good stuff. You know what is disappointing? I was in one of the most iconic girl groups and no one recognises me. Also, the days are only good in burst. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, the thing is, only good in bursts is the exact thing that is terrible. Because, you know, like, for us, we have a track record of, you know, being able to compete with a side for a, the vast majority of a particular game. And then, you know, a few goals in a few minutes is what kills us, and we lose by a lot of goals. Like, you know, it'd be even for three quarters of the game or like we you know in the first half we'd be even at half time let's say and then we'd give up you know 12 goals to two in the second half or something like that so yeah what's your favorite hot cross bun flavor um my favorite hot cross bun flavor is a flavor is 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 the flavour of Hawthorne beating Geelong on Easter Monday. Jeez, was that, was that a good line, guys? Let me know what you think of uh, that line. <laughs> anyway. How do you reckon Reggie's going to go against Gorn? I'm genuinely thinking Captain Gorn in my super coach too. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Gorn, Gorn's been an issue when we played him a lot, so, you know, you could see him having a day out. But yeah. Hopefully it's high scoring. Yeah, Soros. 
Definitely. Good game of footy. It's high scoring, I guess. So yeah. Oh, it's the end of not like my joke. Oh, that's a shame. They kicked one goal from the back half, which has been a bit of a concern. They, ter- they did intercept Mark that last ball and, and scored a goal, but it's been hard work for them. It has, and uh, the guy that we focused on, his 150th game at the back, Tom Stewart, has been huge. Um, seven possessions, six of them intercepts, and of those four intercept marks, three of them have been contested. So Pedlo's been there. That's part of the job. Then you've got to win the contest. Can you make a change? Oh. Newcomb going to go off, watch it. Oh, Newcomb going off, watch it, yeah. I hope you're right. A little bit underwhelming last week, Newcomb, so... If he could have a day out, I'd be wrapped with that. So, yeah. But yeah, tell us your thoughts on, um, on this game at the moment. I know some of you said your tips right at the start, but yeah, are they altered at all. You're now going for Geelong, or well, we still we still back in Adelaide to get it done from here. Let us know. What a brilliant night for some football, ladies and gents. Oh, that's right, Isabel. That's spot on. Every night's a good night for footy, though. I say. So, second quarter about to start. Definitely going for Geelong's this, Soros. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's... Fair enough, Soros. We all hope that, uh... We all hope that you can get the better of all your mates. Anyway. Second quarter underway now. Geelong going straight out of the middle. Hawkins. Slides it to Blitzars. Hamble to close. Closes Hamble's a poor one though. Adelaide cut it off. Get it out down the line. But Adelaide have the numbers. Shambling it away. Kicking it forward now. There's a massive like moth flying around in here. That thing's going to annoy me. I mean, I'm not going to do anything about it right now, but, yeah. Don't know if you heard me just say it. Yeah, but, yeah, a huge moth who is attracted to the lights in here. But anyway. Adelaide into the 50. Numbers Laird, oof. Big human shoulder there. Adelaide still with numbers though. Hambling it out. Crouch, searching. Hamble to Laird. Laird, is he pushing the back? Is it a ball up? Might just be a ball up. Of course I wouldn't miss this for the world. Oh yeah, that's that's great stuff, Isabel. What a dramatic scene. Hope all well goes for both you, you and the moth. Yeah, well, not the moth. He's intruding the, the live stream. So get him out of here. It was ruthless. I was ruthless last Saturday night. Adelaide lost. Yeah. Against Gold Coast. So, yeah. Must have given Saurus. Must have given you a fright then. Because they suddenly came charging home, Adelaide. Oh, mate, Moth is just trying to enjoy some top-notch football. He's not, because he's hiding in the light so that he can't even... You know, he's blocking himself from the footy. So if it was a footy-supporting Moth, I could tolerate it. But he's not here to watch footy. He's here to make noise and, you know, fly around the joint, which you've got... You've ha- He's had a week to do that. Why is he not just watching the footy? Speedy Sports says hello. Welcome, Speedy Sports. Welcome back. Good to see you back here again for another appearance on the live stream. So yeah, good to see ya. Bro, I'm so, I'm so annoying. Yeah, I know. They are 
especially when they're making noise. In the meantime, the Adelaide fans are making noise because Adelaide have just kicked a goal. See, look at me, great transition from talking about uh, moths back to the football. The good goal for Adelaide. Starting to work themselves back into this game. That's two in a row. Back to a 13 point margin. Yeah, it sounds like a flow of a moth then. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, mate, he's had he's had all Monday to Friday. Well actually to be fair, he should have been watching the footy last night, but just watch the footy, mate. What are you doing? At least he's a bit quieter now. I can still see him, but he's yeah, been a bit quieter. Come on, Geelong Zesaurus. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'd probably disagree with that comment, being the Hawthorne supporter that I am, but yeah. But mate, I'm just here to see some great footy, so I'm happy either way. That's what I want. That's what we all want, really. We just love footy, so that's what it's all about. I'm unstoppable now. Don't know what don't know what on earth Sienna's talking about, but doesn't seem overly football related, but intriguing stuff. Anyway, Geelong in the forward line. Adelaide clearing it away, however. Ball still there, Holmes charging forward to close, close, wheels and goes, kicks a long ball deep. Hawkins couldn't quite take the mark. Ball nearly sat up for him. Stengel coming in there hard. It's going to be a ball up. Interesting. Strictly football in chat, please, fellas, says Rory. Well, that's good to hear, Rory. You, uh, Good on you for taking the initiative to uh, protect the nature of this live stream. But yeah. Cameron. Passing on the football. Myers it's just swinging a kick forward. Bounces up and it's tapped through for a minus score. And that increases the lead for Geelong just by a little bit. Now a 14 point margin. Oh, there we go. Saurus <laughs> already sending photos of the scores. Maybe calling it a bit early. You can't you can't be risking it early in the game. It's very risky stuff. So we all know what happened to various people uh, back in opening round when when uh, when when Carlton came back against Brisbane. Everyone, all of the Carlton Football Club was copying abuse. But yeah. We all know how that game turned around. Yeah, good to see Isabel and Rory fighting in the name of football. Up the baggers, says Rory. As we all know, yes, Rory goes for Carlton and Sandringham. In the meantime, Geelong trying to charge their way through the back line. Stewart. Now they've got a lot of open space. Blitzars running forward. Kicks a scrappy old kick, but it might work out okay. They've got the numbers. Cameron, handball over the top. Just feeding it through into the 50. Myers. Myers to O'Connor. Gets it through to Close. Close handball over the top to Stengel. Stengel sort of overran it. Managed to find it again. Handball in the path of direction, but Crouch getting in there. Giving it to Laird, and the Crows will clear it. Mark taken. So Adelaide now kicking it down the line. Oh Rankin, well done. Give it to Rochelle. Shelley back to Rankin. Kicking to the 50. Oh. So Burgess again has been... Uh, had quite a bit of it already. This is for his second goal. So... Yeah, 
Yeah, this for three in a row for the Adelaide Crows. And to bring the margin back to a manageable eight points. They're just strikes are pretty good off the boot. It's a goal. Great kick. And Adelaide charging back into it. Much to the uh, the disappointment of Soros, as we all know. At least the Amsterdam Decents are right, says TRVCL. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I won't get into that because, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, if I was a Collingwood fan, I think I'd be pretty frustrated about the umpiring last night. I'll say that much. It would be pretty frustrating stuff. Now Adelaide surging forward again into the 50. Rankin just taps it away. Rochelle, handball, but he's run down. And Geelong have the numbers, and they'll clear it away. Oh, dangerous. Adelaide look to turn it around again. Though doing very well to win that footy back, close kicks it straight to Ollie Henry, who is all on his own. Yeah, no, interesting stuff. Please, Geelong. <laughs> Says Soros. Ollie Henry on behalf of Soros to give the, the cats a bit of breathing space. He's popped it through. They must need a goal for Geelong. And Soros will be in a liner with that one. Cats getting a very important goal. Just to reassert a bit of dominance on this game. They lead it by 14 points. So back in the middle now. Interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. The next goal is very big because if Geelong get another now, really going to start looking in control again. 14 point game. Adelaide kicking it forward again. Walker couldn't quite. He gets wrapped up. Should be a ball up and it is. Geelong in the meantime, kicking it forward, Holmes, handballing it away to Dempsey, to Stengel, Stengel back to Dempsey, handball over the top, to Myers, back to Dempsey, to Holmes, Holmes into the 50, kicks it deep and Adelaide punch it through for another behind, which has happened a couple of times now tonight. Adelaide take it quickly from the kick in. As I'm busy updating this scoreboard. 15 point lead to Geelong. 
The only time I'll ever support you along so Saurus. Fair enough, Saurus. I can understand your reasoning. I'd be in the same boat as you if I was in your situation. Like having all your mates support one club. You know, even me having, you know, mates supporting various other Victorian clubs, it's, you know, horrible stuff, but to have them all supporting one club would be just unbearable. I like kicking in the 50, oh, Stuart. Juggling it out of bounds, and it'll be a boundary throwing inside Adelaide's forward 50. So, halfway through the second quarter now, Geelong 15 points in front. What's well, a relatively high scoring game so far? Arms clearing it. Oh, good mark, Dangerfield. It's funny, I keep forgetting which way they're going. I don't know why. I'm just getting disoriented in my head. Tube, you probably can't answer this, but if there was an interstate team you had to support, who would it be? <sighs> That's a, well, it's a bizarre question. If there was an interstate team I had to support, which would it be? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, in terms of my Favourite interstate club, I guess I'd say GWS, probably, because, you know, you know, harmless, I guess, and beat teams that I dislike more, so maybe them, although in terms of supporting a more established club, you know, with, you know, just a bit more of, an, more of a club, maybe, I don't know, maybe... Maybe one of the Adelaide teams, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know. Good question, Rory. Mine would be GWS to Saurus. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, I guess I'd probably say GWS. But it's such a, like, tricky question. Maybe the Tassie Devils. Maybe, maybe the Tassie Devils. I don't mind Tasmania as a place. Although, with that being said, though, I'm wrapped with the new Tassie team because it means we will not have to play there anymore. And there's nothing worse than the fact we play four of you. Get, you get 11 home games a year, which is such a small number, and we're just throwing away four of them. I mean, obviously, a benefit of being a Victorian club is you get more away games in Victoria, but still, you know... Just throwing games away by putting them in a different state. I know we play well there, but I just mean from a supporting perspective. It's just frustrating. Anyway, Geelong in the 50 and Hawkins and it's out of bounds. So, still 15 point margin. I've just ordered a, a Devil's jersey on its way now, says Rory. Interesting, Rory. What are you gonna are you gonna support the Devils or what? Are you a member or what's what's the go there, Rory? Let us know. Interesting. Soros, can I ask why did you take such a long break in twenty twenty three? I don't know. You know, it's just sort of one of those things, I guess. You know, like just wasn't doing it for a while, wasn't feeling it for a while. Sort of wasn't, you know, thinking about, like, the content I'd post. It sort of became a bit of a drag later on in 2022, but, you know. Then I thought, you know, sort of, well, shortly after last year's season finished, I sort of, you know, always thought I wanted to get back into it in a big way. So, you know, started posting quite a lot, and now, you know, loving it. So, yeah, I guess that's the basics of it. No, family's Tasmanian. Honestly, going to wear it to random games is a bit of a joke. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough, Rory. Can't fault that thinking. But yeah, interesting. Yeah, but are you a member? Are you a member, Rory? Because I know all sorts of people are members. You know, even people with absolutely no connection to Tasmania have been signing up for their uh, Tassie Devils membership which I just wouldn't do because it's like 
I know it's ten dollars, but it's like, why would you? It's a different club. You know what I mean? Like, it, obviously, I don't have anything against Tasmania, and I'm happy that they're getting a team, particularly because it helps me as well, meaning that we get more games in Melbourne. But you know, it's just like, you know, why? Why would you want to be a member of a different AFL team? YouTube got boring, basically. I can't lie. Well, you're sort of right. YouTube's... I mean, sort of more dead. There's no doubt YouTube's definitely more dead than it used to be. Like, it used to be the main event, but now, you know, it's been surpassed by definitely TikTok and I guess Instagram as well. Although, to be fair, Instagram's always been there too, so, you know. But yeah, I guess TikTok's the big... The big one. People can't sit through longer videos anymore. They need TikTok. So, yeah. Yeah, Rory's saying absolute disgrace of a Guernsey. I mean, I mean, it's fine. Like, I don't, I don't hate it as much as some people are saying they do. You know, it's like traditional. It's what, you know, you'd expect them to Tasmania to be, but you know, it's not that bad. Could be worse. At least it doesn't have any, like, super funky designs. Like, any jumper that tries to be too... Uh, particularly a home jumper. Any home jumper that tries to be too wacky is just not it. Like, you need to be more basic. Which I guess it is pretty... It's sort of in the middle, I guess, in that sense. But, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, Adelaide just kicking another behind there. Townley Gansy looks horrible. Yeah. I mean, hmm. What should they have? Do you reckon like a, uh, like their logo sort of thing? Like the devil, like on the, on the jumper like that? What do you reckon? Or a V or a yoke or some sort of different design? What do people reckon? TikTok is where I mainly post, even though I get banned every other week. Well, that's the problem with TikTok. It just seems so much dodgier in that sense. So unreliable. I mean, it's funny. It's so much easier to... It's actually crazy how much easier it is to, you know, get views and followers. Because I guess, obviously, your views less because, you know, if videos are shorter, it doesn't take as much for people to watch content. So, you know, it's that sort of thing. Hole is best YouTube channel comes in and says go go Eagles yeah what do you reckon the Eagles going to win this week up against uh, the Giants <laughs> see what happens there oh Stengel's just giving away a 50 to Burgess he'll looking like he'll kick a goal for Adelaide and trim the margin Devil would be much better as a centerpiece of the Guernsey. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I do sort of feel like because it's already like green, the jumper's green and it should be green. And then you have the Devil, which is you know green as well. So it's sort of oh no, you see the post Burgess. Can't believe it. He's been given a gift and he's. Pumped it into the post. And Soros will be happy about that one. I got banned today for bullying and harassment, which is fair, TBH, because I'm crazy. What were you doing? What were you doing, TRBCL? What were you doing that got you banned for uh, for bullying? I just thought you meant like randomly banned, but yeah, what have, what have you been getting up to? Harry Mackay's cousin. Hmm. Mm. Into the 50 for Adelaide. Jack Henry up against Rankin. Rankin surely a free for a hold. Didn't get it, and he's not happy about it. Oh. I mean, it could have been. 
maybe it would have been a little bit harsh because he sort of was sort of having the ball there for a bit. Adelaide, or Adelaide gaining momentum, says Soros. Oh, yeah, I guess. Certainly looking like a far more even game than it was before, so. <laughs> lots and lots of she says TRBCL. <laughs> Alright. Is YouTube, I guess, would probably be maybe more lenient in that sense, although. Now you can still get banned for things. Go Subiaco Lions. Interesting, yeah, no, that's interesting. Good to see um, some some support for the waffle in here. Do you all know Rory, who's in chat quite a lot? He's a big Sandringham fan in the VFL, so yeah, good stuff. Holly says hello, hello Holly. Welcome to the live stream. In the meantime, Tex has a mark inside 50. Is this the moment for Tex? He wheels it around and misses. That would have been some goal. He snapped it from there. Because now it's an even two-goal game. And looking like they've got a lot of the momentum. Got to put it on the scoreboard right now, Adelaide. Because you just know that Geelong won't give up their lead easily. All down the line. Adelaide with the numbers here again. Looking to send it forward again. They got the numbers here again. Here they go. Into the pretty open 50. But it's a terrible kick. I don't know what the thought process was. But it's a boundary throw in inside Adelaide's forward 50. Sora's getting up and about, says Rory. Rory, we're all getting up and about because we love footy. That's what we're doing. But anyway, ball back into play. Stanley up against Walker in the ruck. Rankin just kicking it out of there and kicking it out of the full. So Geelong. With the football. Choosing to go long down the line. Ball into the 50 again. Rankin from the boundary. And in the space of less than 30 seconds, Rankin's kicked it out on the full twice. Hope West Torrens. Eagles win the sandful. Um, East Perth in the Waffle and Williamstown in the AFL. Interesting. I thought you just said that you're a Subiaco fan. Shouldn't you want Subiaco to win the Premiership? You can invite the Cardi sir, to watch. <laughs> cool. You're welcome to. He's not going to not going to say no to that. But now here's an opportunity and the mark taken by Patrick Dangerfield. And he can line this one up. Time for a captain's goal for Geelong. Just to get it back out to a three-goal margin. You planning on going to any state games this year? Well, yeah, Soros, I'll be in... Um, I'll be at the Adelaide Oval in, uh, in two weeks' time. For Collingwood Hawthorne. I'll also be going to a game or two in Launceston and Canberra as well, I think. But yeah, I went to a bit more last year, but yeah, we'll see. Pretty excited for Gather Round though. But, you know, obviously now Gather Round could be um, Collingwood's first win for the year, which. Not ideal if it's against us, but oh well. Yeah, these things happen. Who knows, we could win. Anyway, Adelaide deep into the 50, but Jack Henry. Too big, unpowerful there. Yeah, yeah, Soros. That's right, yep, going to Hawthorne Collingwood. 
Not going to any other games, just that one though. Yeah, went to the um, went last year as well to our game against GWS when Kimmelberg was their match winner at Norwood. Which, mind you, Norwood, great atmosphere there. I loved it, but it was all good except for the result. So yeah. In the meantime, Tex Walker has sprayed it. A prime opportunity there for Adelaide with 11 seconds left. It's just come off the wrong side of his boot, and gone out of bounds to the opposite pocket. Going all of them at the Adelaide Oval. Good stuff, Soros. Going with your mates to uh to some of them? Only they can score in the rest Imagine of you would be. Of caps I mean, I'm sort of against gathering to start with, but now I'm sort of warmed up to it more now. But anyway, there you go. There's the siren. Half time at the Adelaide Oval. And what's been an interesting, interesting first half, you'd still say Geelong... Seem to be in control. Adelaide haven't quite been able to get much closer than this, but yeah, it's just one of those games. Adelaide need to come out firing. Because I feel like Geelong of all teams, you sort of feel like, you know, them leading by two goals when they've been up all day, it sort of feels like more because they're just, the way they, you know, experience heads, the way they control games. You'd expect them to not give up this too easily. Hi again to Speedy. G'day Speedy. How are you? Yeah, going with mates. Well, Soros, I hope for you that... Um, uh, who are Adelaide playing in the other round? Is it... Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne, that's right. They're playing Melbourne. Well, yeah, Soros, I mean, on balance, I'd probably rather Adelaide to beat Melbourne, but I hope for you, I'm willing to say, Soros, I hope for you, if you go on to that, I hope that um, Melbourne can win for you. But I can't say the same about the Sunday game, Collingwood Hawthorne, so... Anyway... Myers, Clark, Dempsey, like they're all, and even the big fellas are getting involved in it, and they look like you take photos of um, of the still still shots. Yeah, interesting game of football. Let, it, let me know your thoughts right now, everyone in the comments, your tips, whatever. Go Red Cliff Dolphins. What up, your fins? <laughs> really covering up all the um the sports and competitions there, but I mean, I love to see it. Love, love to see it. Even mentioning Redcliffe in the uh, in the NRL. Which, mind you, um, don't like how they're officially just the Dolphins. I think it's sort of stupid. You got to have your place name in there. You know what I mean? I know they're trying to appeal to like a broader market, but it's just like, you know, have your name in there. I hope Melbourne get the win. Yeah, Soros, I know. I know you would. <laughs> Go Scorchers. Go Morewell Eagles. Jeez, he's really ticking them off. Nah, but um, in the... Uh, is that the Gippsland League? Because, uh, yeah. Nah, go Drew and, Drew and Hawks, mate. That's that's where it's at in the... Uh, in the Gippsland League. No, Soros. Man, you have one thing in common. Absolute fanatic, fanatic or tube. He's my favourite YouTuber by a long shot. He's my idol, to be honest. I hope he notices me soon. Well, cheers for the paragraph, Holly. That's good stuff. I appreciate it. And you've been noticed, so good stuff. Vic Country. Vic Metro, mate. <laughs> Ticking them all off now. But yeah, interesting stuff. Is the Crows have been able to get from Go to Man Druitt Town Rangers. Man Druitt Town Rangers. Is that saying, um, 
Is that a real club in a particular sport from Mount Druitt? Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. NPL. Righto. That's right. Not as on top of my NPL, but yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. How much the Pies losing by next week? Nah, Soros. Collingwood will win next week, but lose gather round. You heard it here first. They'll beat Brisbane and lose to Hawthorne. Polly's best YouTube channel. Interesting, just listing off all the, all the um, all the clubs in the uh, in the book here. Yeah. No, interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. How the Pies Lions game is on my birthday. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe Collingwood can get their first win as your uh, as your birthday present. So yeah, everyone, share your thoughts in chats. Um, if you're uh, of your thoughts, what do, we, what do we reckon? Who's gonna win from here? Will it be Adelaide or Geelong or neither? Nasi says Hawks and Geelong Easter Monday game and Melbourne Derby both in the same week. How are we feeling about that? Oh, you know, it's uh, it's intense stuff. It's intense stuff, Darcy. And, um... But, yeah. <laughs> but, obviously, Darcy, I don't mean you... We go for the same team in, in one of those, but we don't in the other, I don't think, because, obviously, I think you're a Melbourne victory man, so, yeah. Because I am a Melbourne City supporter. All of you, just letting you know if any of you follow the A League or anything. Geelong blow it out and win by 67. Adelaide by 11. <laughs> yeah, well, those are two, two contrasts there, but yeah, we'll see. I could definitely see Geelong winning, and I could see them winning by, you know, a decent margin. Bankstown Bush Rangers by 27. Yeah. Nah, we'll see, we'll see, Rory. We'll see. Oh, dear. Pretty tiring. Been a pretty tiring week, guys. Pretty, it's been a long week. I'm just I can do this Friday night live stream and then <laughs> relax for the art. Uh, actually, not relax because, you know, big game of football tomorrow. Yeah, Rory, if you're still in here, let us know what uh, who do you think's actually going to win this game? Give us your expert opinions, because that's what the people want to hear. <sighs> Nothing to relax about. It's footy to watch. Look, Rory, you know I get what you mean. Footy's exciting stuff, and it keeps me going. But you know, it's not a Hawthorne game. At least I can relax a bit and just enjoy it, <sighs> knowing that. Doesn't mean all that much to me in the grand scheme of things. I mean, obviously, I'd have preferences in almost every neutral game as to who I would rather win based on who I prefer as a club, but yeah. Ultimately, can enjoy it. Who did I tip, says Darcy. Darcy, I tipped Adelaide. I'm trying to think how much, how much did I tip Adelaide by. I think it might have only been like by seven points or something. So I do think it'll be a good game, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh dear. Look, at the moment I'm thinking the crows by 
comfortable 24 points, although if the Crows keep it up, although if the Cats keep it up, I can also see Cats win by 6 to 8 points. It's pretty specific stuff there. They wouldn't even be keeping it up. That would mean Adelaide win the second half. But I could see, but you know, it's funny, I can really see Geelong, you know, like I can see Geelong winning by a decent amount. So, yeah. I guess I'm just rambling a bit now because I really don't know. So, yeah. Just intriguing, intriguing football at the moment. It's funny, so at the moment, we're on track to a third upset from three streams. For all of you who are unaware, because we had um, Carlton beating Brisbane, Sydney beating Collingwood, and now this would be another one. I mean, you know, I guess Brisbane, Carlton beating Brisbane was the biggest of those, but still, this would be a decent upset, as was last week. Sora says top 50 best games 2023 grand final being the least viewed as a crime. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see why you think that as a Collingwood supporter. But, you know, it's funny how... um, It is extraordinary how, for that sort of thing, so many people complain about it because there's just so much, like, anti-Collingwood stuff. You know what I mean? It's just so, like, just hate for Collingwood. <laughs> Like, people are just so unreasonable, like, you know, they just hate Collingwood and they're not even willing to be reasonable. It's like, it's just, you know, in the same sense that people are biased, everyone's probably a little bit biased towards their own team, but it's incredible how how some people are just so, so, like, biased against Collingwood. I find that crazy. Oh, here we go. First donation of the night, $2 from Holly. Thank you very much. I appreciate you supporting the channel. But yeah, let's let's go. First first donation. That's that's huge stuff. Huge. Am I streaming any more this round? Look, I was thinking about it, but it's sort of um. I mean, I can't tomorrow because you know Hawthorne playing a twilight game at the MCG. It's sort of like couldn't really do. An afternoon game, obviously, in that situation, or do a night game afterwards, because it's sort of, you know, couldn't quite get around to doing that, because I would be out after that, so yeah. And then Sunday, Sunday, I'm, I'm hyped for this one, I'm going to, um, going to the Box Hill game away to Casey. Oh my goodness me, Ollie's just donated $15. Far out, fifteen dollars. That's huge. Thank you very much for that. I don't know, I don't know how rich you are, but either way, that's incredible stuff. Fifteen dollars. I'm very grateful for that. That's gonna, that's gonna take the channel a long way. So appreciate the donation. Jeez, that's crazy. Seventeen dollars from one person in the space of a couple of minutes. Let's hope that. Holly's not putting her financial situation on the line, but yeah, really appreciate that. That's a that's huge stuff. That's huge. Thank you, thank you very, very much for that. Yeah, the chat's the chat's blown away by it as well. Fifteen is crazy. You're right, Darcy. But fifteen dollars. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you very much, Holly, for that donation. Oh no, we've got an issue. Anytime AFL Tube, I hope you notice me now. What do you mean? I wasn't ignoring you. I wasn't ignoring you, was I? I'm sorry if I was. If you thought I was. I was. I, I don't try to ignore anyone, but... And I apologise if that's what you reckon. Oh, my, um, my KO's just stopped working, so I need to sort that out. SpongeBob says, what team do I go for? I go for Hawthorne. The Hawthorne Football Club. 
which has had its good times and now had bad times, but let's hope there's some good times to come. And that's all I'll say about that. Some sort of party celebration going on next door. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they're just celebrating the fact that Holly donated has donated seventeen dollars in the past few minutes, which is crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy amounts of money. That's easily the most anyone's any individual has donated, which is sensational stuff. I really appreciate that. <sighs> yeah. To the viewers, I mean, obviously you don't have to donate because, you know, I'm never going to tell someone they have to donate to watch something, but, like, obviously, very, very grateful for that. Really appreciate it. Got a footy game on Sunday, first of the year. Yeah, it's getting to that time of year again. I mean, we just started up footy training again recently. I didn't go to the most recent one, though, because I, might, I may or may not have forgotten to have my stuff on me, so, yeah, couldn't go to that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pumped to be playing for you again soon. How yeah, good. That's right, Darcy. That's right. Love footy, keen to play as well. Good stuff, Rory. Good to see that you are excited to be playing your footy again. But yeah, no, that's um, interesting, 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 interesting. But what, what position do you boys play? Let me know. I mean, I'm interested to hear. Interested to hear. Because me, myself, I'm somewhat of a key forward. I'd say is the main thing I do, but yeah. I'm sunburnt as however. I don't know how I'll go on Sunday. How'd you get sunburnt, Saurus? Was it um too sunny in Adelaide? Was that, was that what it was? Bernie <laughs> Devonport. Nightclip, I'll list them all. He's moved on to his art. He's Tasmania now. <laughs> We said Denver Port rather than Devon Port, but I'll let that one slide. It could have been order correct or something. I'm assuming he meant Devon Port. Athletics miss on, on Thursday. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I hope you recover soon, because what happened to me, I went to the um, Test Cricket in Adelaide in January, and I got horrendously sunburnt when I was there. So, like, you know... My skin was still like peeling like two weeks later. It was dreadful stuff. But yeah, got to bring sunscreen, boys, if you're going to be out in the sun. That's the most important thing. I'm the ruck on my team. Some say I remind them of Ned Reeves. <laughs> That's interesting, Holly. Interesting to hear that. What is it? What is it? You were noodle or something. Is that why they remind them of uh, Ned Reeves? Because as we all know, Ned Rees, well, maybe that's more Hawthorne uh, specialist knowledge, but yeah, we call, we call Rees Noodle. I'm playing the wing. Interesting, Saurus, interesting. I could see Saurus charging up and down that wing. But yeah, good stuff, good stuff. What do you think about the new AFL team, Tasmanian Devils, says Spongebob? Good question, and I was briefly mentioning this before, but yeah... For me, I'm wrapped about it because being a Hawthorne supporter, I hate I hate the fact that we play four games in a different four of our home games in a different state. It feels like such a waste. Not that we play poorly there, but I just mean from a you know supporters' perspective, I don't want to have to not be able to go to those games because you know because we play them to stay for a bit of money. But yeah, no, I'm 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 happy about it. Happy about it in that sense. It's my flexibility and mobility. I also got taught by the same teacher, by the same teacher, by him. I'm extremely muscly. Also, I love my McDonald's chips. I don't think that sounds. <laughs> it's funny you say that because I couldn't think of 
more the opposite of Ned of Ned Ray's than what you just said. <laughs> yeah, interesting stuff. What's my ladder prediction? Well, it's funny. So I tipped at the start of the year my ladder prediction. I tipped Collingwood A. I did then tip them to make the prelim still, but I tipped them after the home and away season, Collingwood to finish A. And I got a whole lot of comments complaining about that one, but as of now, I'm not looking too bad about that. It's looking all right. But I did tip a Brisbane Premiership too, which, no, I went two. We'll see what happens when they play Collingwood next week. We'll see. Reese isn't very mobile. Yeah, Darcy, that's right. That was my thinking. Uh, well, I never tell someone who donated me $17 tonight that they're wrong. Anyway, the third quarter is about to start. I better update this now. Let's get on with it. Third quarter from the Adelaide Oval. We'll see what happens here. To be honest, I wasn't very happy with you putting Collingwood hate says source. I can, can imagine you wouldn't be. But anyway, here's a great start. It's that Fogarty it is. He's kicked the goal. Adelaide, quick goal there to start the quarter. Yeah, Sor Soros, back to what you said. Um, well, I apologise for making you upset about Tim and Collingwood 8. I thought I'd go for a bit of a bolder call there. But, you know, you can't dispute it so far. They're 0-3, so... As a Collingwood fan right now, maybe you'd take finishing 8th from here. So, you know... Game for the Wooden Spoon next week. Pies vs. Prizzy, <laughs> says Jacob. Yeah, well... Yeah, we'll see. Who knows, maybe one could still win the Premiership and the other will win the Spoon, so you never know. But yeah, prediction for this game is Sponge, SpongeBob. Um, oh, it's so tricky. Because I sort of feel like it's the sort of game that Geelong would win now, the way the pattern of the game's been. But, I mean, I tipped Adelaide by seven at the start, so nothing I've seen can make me want to change that. Particularly, they look like they've come out firing now. Now I think you're a genius, says Soros. I mean, what can I say? I guess it's just genius, even though, you know, I'll probably get 100 other things wrong from a ladder prediction. But, yeah, always take the wins. Foggy weaving his way through, doing very well. Crouch. Spinning around two. Does he have a shot at goal? He sets it up brilliantly and Tex takes a mark. 20 metres out directly in front. And this to level the scores all of a sudden at the Adelaide Oval. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Rory says 0-3. Referring to the Collingwood Football Club. But yeah. 0-3. Played more games than anyone right now. And still yet to register a win. Not the easiest games, but regardless. Taylor Walker, straight in front, 20 out, no problems. Pops it through the middle, and the scores are level at the Adelaide Oval. And this is good for football. We love, we love, we love close footy games. And it doesn't get any closer than what it is right now. Now, asking some questions of Geelong, because if Adelaide... This is how Adelaide can win this game, is... Adelaide are going to charge away with it now. They do so well. Um, I'm not trying to get too um, ungentlemanly here, but Brian Taylor just said something sort of alert. I was looking down at my phone. It made me look up. He said something about a stiffy. Talking about, I mean, I know it was referring about Taylor Walker showing some respect there, but this strange wording from Brian. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that wording myself. But anyway, anyway, in the meantime, Geelong go into the fifty. 
Here's an opportunity. Clark gets the handball away. Adelaide look like they have the numbers there. Crouch pushing the back. Back six. Forgot to run out to the source. Yeah, well. Looks like they all forgot to, you know. It's all been a bit, uh, Adelaide doing it. Anyway. Spongebob says his predictions, Adelaide by 14. Can't fault that now. If Adelaide can get on with it here, they could really charge away with it. This is a crucial moment in this game. Because I could, I could definitely see Geelong now surging again, but I could also see Adelaide now just running away with it. So, interesting times coming up. There is the football. Adelaide on the wing. They lose it. Tui. Now he's a chance coming up for Geelong if they can keep it in. Myers. Handball over the top to Close. Close kicks it into the 50 and Cameron takes the mark. Jeremy Cameron near the boundary. Scores a level at the moment. This to give the Cats the lead back. How about this fella says Rory. Oh, I know Rory. Exciting stuff. Nothing beats... A close game of footy. Jeremy, Jeremy Cameron. Spinning it around. Oh, would you have a look at that? A much needed reply for Geelong as Jeremy Cameron gives them the lead. An important goal for Geelong. As Adelaide beginning to surge there, and it was a great finish from Jeremy Cameron. Sort of. You know, sort of, uh, um, I was trying to think of a good expression there. Oh, anyway, don't worry. <laughs> Be right back to SpongeBob. Yeah, good on you, SpongeBob. Cheers for tuning in, that's alright. <laughs> Saurus is excited, as you'd expect. Needing the, uh, the cats to win tonight because he doesn't want to cop it from his Adelaide mates. Which I can imagine would be a bit frustrating to have your whole, like all your mates gone for one club and you go for another. Anyway, Rankin, Laird. We'll cut off though. Geelong now with the numbers. Should be a ball up, however, it's a ball up. Keep up the good work, says Holly. Well, thank you, Holly. Does that mean you're hopping off now? If so, thank you very much for the, um, the, the large donations that you gave before, $17 all up, that's hugely, hugely appreciated. In the meantime, Myers into the 50. Hawkins flying for the football. Oh. Yeah, man, I'm wrapped up. That's holding the ball. Free kick to Adelaide. It's actually stupid that I'd still be giving crap like how good was the mighty cross tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, Saurus, I'm guessing that they haven't, uh, they haven't seen a premiership in their day, so you've definitely, you've definitely upped them in that sense. They're not premiership supporters. They've not seen a premiership. No, I'm staying on since I am a big fan. Oh, thank you, Holly. I'm glad to hear that. They won their first... They won their first one a decade before they were alive. <laughs> yeah. And their most recent one, I'm guessing. But yeah. Them winning, obviously, back-to-back -back and... Haven't won one since Adelaide in 97 and 98. Anyway. All on the wing. Is that going to be 50? It is. It's a 50 metre penalty. Going the way of the Adelaide Crows. Didn't quite know which long player was it who gave that away. I wasn't too short enough. Might show a replay. Uh, 
Yeah, far out. The peddler lines it up from his 50 metre penalty, kicks it right to the goal square, and means it's easy for Geelong to rush it through. Alright, I'm going to hop off later. See you later, TRBCL. Thank you for, thank you for uh, your contributions in joining tonight. But yeah, nah. Have a good one, mate. Good to see you in here. It's, uh, just as I'm updating the scoreboard now, Adelaide look like they're about to come back into attack again. Anyway, Rankin, oh, there's a goal. And for the first time since the first minute of this game, Rankin kicks the goal and the Adelaide Crows hit the front. Big moment in the context of this game. 8-6-54 to 8 5 53. So I remember that day watching them walking into school on the 2nd of October, 2nd of October or whatever. They wanted nothing to do with me. <laughs> that just saw us. If Adelaide win tonight, just think about that, all right? Think about the fact. I mean, who knows what the future holds, but as of now, they have not experienced that. Twenty seventeen, twenty seventeen. What about twenty seventeen? They didn't they did they lost the uh they lost the grand final that year. Yeah. And I like really Yeah, lost the grand final, yeah. Well they've seen a lost grand final I guess, but not a win. Looking a bit tired there, I felt she was as well, yeah, I'm open about that. I said before I was a bit tired because, you know, Friday night, good night for footy, but obviously, you know, after a long week, it's it's tiring times. But finally, I can get a sleep in tomorrow for the first time, you know, in almost a week, so that's something. I've seen them walk in a couple of days after the 27 in Granny. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. See what you mean, yep. That would have been... That would have been good stuff. But yeah. It was a terrible day for Adelaide and the fact they... I haven't made the final since then sort of remarkable when you think about it because people thought they'd bounce right back and still be one of the top side but nah Tom Hawkins now to give Geelong the lead back he pops it through and Soros will like that one did not want to go to school after 2018 says Soros <laughs> I guess you have all your stories about that 2019 prelim 2022 prelim maybe as well yeah Imagine all of that. To be fair, though, in 20... Think about 2018. In that season, if someone told you before the season one of these two teams would make the grand final and the other would finish 12th, I think it was, that Adelaide finished, you'd be shocked if you heard, you know, which was which because, you know, obviously heading into the 2018 season, everyone would have thought that Adelaide would be quite a bit better. As soon as Modra was gone and again, he would go to the AFL. 
Yeah, Rory, we all know your, uh, your love for Tony Modra. Yeah, you know. The club's pretty much been in a crisis since then, if we're being honest, you know. Meantime, Dangerfield into the 50. Long and deep, and Hawkins takes a grab. Hawkins has been quite something tonight now. Tom Hawkins lining up. Let's just have a look. He has only kicked two. He could have sworn he kicked three. Maybe I'm imagining things, but... This for goal number three, Tom Hawkins. And to extend the lead of the Cats, Hawkins runs around and pops it through. Long leader by a couple of goals now. Gets his third. Silence in the Adelaide crowd for the moment. See, this is the sort of thing I did sort of think would happen, at least, you know, Geelong... Well, <laughs> Geelong aren't necessarily the sort of team who just give it up easily. <laughs> and Soros is loving it. As he should be. Throwing now on the wing. Looks as though the Crows are about to roll the dice with the sub. Nick Henry has got the shirt off, getting ready to come on. Unsure who will be coming on for the Crows. I'll come back to you as soon as I know. Well, he's a little buzzer. He'll give them plenty of rough. No doubt about it. Mate, my arms are killing me. Time to settle with a nice drop pun as well. Well, how are you? How are your arms? How are your arms killing you, Soros? What have you been getting up to? Oh, who would have thought? Holly's a um, Holly's a Modra fan too. So, a couple of Tony Modra fans in uh, in chat now. Intriguing stuff. In the meantime, close into the fifty. Couldn't get it to Cameron again. And now it's another boundary throw in inside. Oh yeah, yeah, the sunburns. That's right, Soros. That's right. Forgot about that. Yeah, that's how it is. And I tell you, you know, I did have a very similar experience a couple of months ago from that scorching Adelaide sun. So, yeah. Guthrie, you're a nice man. Guthrie, yeah, kicking it into the 50. Taken, but free kick as well to Adelaide in the back line. So an intriguing few moments here in this game. So yeah, it's definitely right now is a big like big moment in the context of the game. So now. Adelaide sent it down the line, but Geelong of the numbers here again. Yeah, see the close. Close over the top. Is this another goal coming up for Geelong? It's behind. Now back to the um back to the half time margin now. Two goal lead to Geelong. Just sort of steadied the ship nicely now, Geelong. Just 
don't want for a challenge a tight one. They are one of the five in games decided by six points or less since the start of last year. Good mark taken by De Koning. Just another long down the line that Geelong are waiting for as they continue to do it. It's 204. It's funny, they just, um, JB just says statistic that Adelaide are one in five in games within a goal, I guess, since the start of last year. Which is disappointing because I know that the one that they won was against us last year in Tassie. Charles at two. Oh no, there's a streaker on the ground. Oh. He was trying to get involved in the play as well. <laughs> oh no. Do you know what's funny? He's just trying to get involved in the play there, the streaker, like he ran towards the ball. It would be funny if someone rocked up wearing like a full kit and then just, you know, like ran out and like joined in the play. You know what I mean? Players are going at it. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. This delaying things just... For a couple of minutes. It's not of anything, the occupational health and safety issue. The player's got no idea that a member of the crowd suddenly moving around in the middle of frenetic play. It's just, it just can't happen. So the... will be... removed. This is what Adelaide need to do. Rather than go along, get along. Look at Keys. <laughs> well, that's added a bit of um. That's added a bit of excitement, I guess, for the night. I think it was Keys, was it? Who, who um? Who went at him? But yeah. <laughs> Interesting stuff. It'd be funny if he if he like got the ball. You know what I mean? He just goes in there and just gets the pill. Oh, big fly from Tom Stewart. Couldn't bring it down. Yeah, imagine if a streaker comes on and and wins himself, wins the ball and kicks it. That would just, just you know, just that would be crazy. That would be one of the all-time memorable moments. But yeah, no, that was interesting stuff there. <laughs> Jeez, Tom Stewart getting up there. Um, yeah, Rory Woods, your man, uh, Tony Mojo was, uh, that's what Tom Stewart, Tom Stewart was trying to, trying to copy him there. trying to check on uh, K on my phone. I'm just trying to check the uh, streak up thing there. Hang on, but now I... Uh... My, my KO on my... um <laughs> My KO now on the screen here stopped working because I went on K on my phone to check something but now it's got to bring it back up Tom Stewart wishes he was Tony that's exactly right Rory doesn't he ever he thought he was there for a moment but right through the fingertips from Saurus that is correct 6 minutes to go in the third quarter don't we all though, hey? Well, can't dispute that, Rory. Can't dispute that at all. Dempsey chipping it up. The Henry takes the mark. And Geelong right on top once again at the moment.
So Ollie Henry lines it up and pops it through. And that's a big moment. Geelong kicking away again with five and a half to go in the third quarter. The Cats fans. I'm like they're lower than at the moment. There we go. Three in a row now for Geelong. As they're charging through the middle now again. Dangerfield. Handball over the top. Dempsey now steaming through. Handball to Hawkins. Hawkins spins around and goals. Oh, this is big. And look, I'm not going to say I told you so, but I did even say when Adelaide were just starting to get on top, I said before that... I could easily see Geelong coming and kicking away, which that's what they're doing at the moment. Now a four-goal lead to the Cats. Exciting footy at the moment. But yeah, no, not looking good for Adelaide now, definitely. Need to, need to find something here. And as you'd expect, Soros, absolutely loving it in chat. Well, look at that, Tom Hawkins. Wrapped with that. Saurus. Oh, you never know, Saurus. By the end of the night, if Adelaide can turn it back, that'd be completely different. Diego says, am I going to the game tomorrow? You bet I am. Hoping for a, um, hoping for a, that we put up a good fight. That's my, that's my hope. Are you going, Diego? Fogarty marks in the meantime, just inside 50. Big moment. Adelaide desperately needing a goal. Yeah, hopefully it's close. That's right. I mean, it's sort of a tricky one, but we're at the point. We can't keep taking these respectable losses. Let's take it up to these big sides now. We know we can. So why not just do it? Darcy Fogarty now for Adelaide. That's a good-looking kick as he... Hooked it to the right. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. I wasn't sure if it was sneaking in or going to the right. I was in between the two. 23-point <laughs> margin now. Oh, whoops. Updated Geelong scoreboard accidentally. And now it's a boundary throwing in the, on the wing in the meantime. 23-point lead to the Geelong Cats at the moment. One of the message we might be in trouble, says Soros. Yeah, they might have been starting to think it was all going to be okay there for a while, but I'm not looking that way now. Type of team to beat Melbourne after losing to Essendon. That's right, Diego. And then beat Collingwood in gather rounds and make them go up on five. I tell you what, if we could do that, that would just... I'd be absolutely wrapped. I would be delighted if we could do both of those things. And chuck in an Easter Monday win in the middle. And let's be let's be three and one after four games. That's, that's what we'd love to see. 
I sort of, I, I much prefer it. I mean, I know it's good winning games late, but I mean in the sense that winning games early is good in that I want to at least have a few weeks of the season. Like in 2022, we had it, for instance, where it was sort of like dreaming that we could make the finals. You know what I mean? Sort of just having the dream there. But yeah, anyway. I'll oh, make Collingwood go 0 and 5. Yeah, facts. There's Diego. Collingwood go 2 and 3. Nah, Saurus. Nah, Saurus, as I said before, Collingwood will be 1 and 4, but they'll beat Brisbane and lose to Hawthorne. Now you see if they don't. That's what I'm calling right now. You all heard it here first. Interesting. Question to Saurus. I mean, I guess you'd probably say... I was going to say, would you rather um, beat Brisbane or Hawthorne? But I guess particularly, you'd probably say Hawthorne, particularly because, you know, you'll be at that game, I know. So, at least I guess maybe you want to be more predictable. So, maybe you'd rather beat Hawthorne. But anyway, we'll see. Into the 50. For Geelong. No one can get clean for you, ball up. Big last couple of minutes. If Geelong can kick any more goals now, they're really making it difficult for Adelaide in the last quarter. Myers, Dangerfield. Adelaide with the footy. Can't quite find a way out. The handballing's been constantly pressured by Geelong all night. Yeah, definitely that one's a Saurus. I'd hate to lose with all my friends sitting next to me. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, I sort of was asking that question at first and then I sort of figured that you as a, um, as a South Australian-based person would definitely say that. But let me just fix this up right now. Here we go. Interesting question to Saurus. Do you consider yourself a South Australian or a Victorian? Like, you know, which, which one are you? Um, ah, footy says Rory. Yeah, good on you, Rory. Good stuff. Dangerfield kicks it long and deep and narrow. Don't know why he thought he could go all the way there. I know he does kick some long goals, but no doubt that was one of the more ambitious ones. Behind to the near side. Four goal lead to Geelong. A minute to go in the third quarter. Collingwood beat Brisbane by three and Hawthorne by 19. Nah. <laughs> nah, well, you could be right. But next week, if Collingwood could beat Brisbane, then suddenly it's like... You know, that'd be a big win. That'd be one big win. Anyway, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Adelaide about to send it into attack. They need something here. They've got a lot of open space. So they can work with it. This is... Oh, it's going to be another behind or no. Did it cross the line? They might review it. But Fogarty's thumped it into the post and they're going to review it. Of course they are. With 17 seconds left in the third quarter. I mean, you can't see where it is from that camera angle, but you can see... I mean, he could have hit it sideways, but he does hit it into the back of the behind post. I guess, yeah, from the post you could tell. Definitely wasn't past the back of the behind the line. <sighs> 17 seconds left in the third quarter. A goal here for Adelaide. Definitely takes it from a very unlikely comeback to a far more gettable margin. 
Now in the field, Dempsey clears it away, but the mark's going to be taken. There's going to be a shot for goal. This is huge. And Butts, if he kicks this, Adelaide will be within a three-goal margin. And he's he's made a a meal of it. And that's that for the third quarter. Three-quarter time at the Adelaide Oval, and it is. 24 point lead to Geelong that really could prove costly from Butts there for Adelaide prediction for tomorrow's Hawthorne game says Holly um oh I'm gonna say I said in my I tipped Hawthorne in my tips I think I might do that every week I don't like tipping against Hawthorne it's just not right I mean maybe you could say for AFL tube tipping I could tip against us but it's just a bit of fun tipping Hawthorne, I guess. <laughs> but I tipped us by a point, but whether I actually believe that will happen, I don't know, but, you know, I'm just... It just sucks losing. If I'm going to be honest, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of losing. Let's start winning games. I reckon if Hawthorne can kick a bit straighter than last week, we're a shot. Definitely. Definitely. And I want us to make a statement, you know, like last week, so inaccurate... I'd love for us to make a statement to the competition next week and really take it right up to Melbourne. Either win or get very close. That's what I would like. Big final quarter coming up. So, let us all know your thoughts in chat. If, yeah, I'll leave responding to Diego, that's right. Saurus says Hawks by eight. Well, good stuff, Saurus. Predicting Hawthorne for tomorrow. I hope you are right, Saurus. I really, really do. I'm praying you are right. Because like, that would really be something. That would... You know, can write off last week if that happens. But yeah, I'd be absolutely right with that. Sicily going to bounce back and lock down that defence. Oh, that'd be great as well. Just happy he's going to be playing. But yeah, no, nah, seeing Sicily back at his best. No, it's a bit harder for him with the, the backline dynamic at the moment. Maybe a bit less flexibility for him having no blank there. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. 11, 14, 80, I meant. Yeah, that's right, Saurus. I did sort of pick up on that, but I wasn't going to comment because it sounds a bit too petty. But good on you for correcting yourself there. But tell me, what are your goals? Our goals? Oh, we've got heaps. What's this ad I'm watching right now? Because our dream wedding, whatever your goals are, you achieve them sooner. There's a Hodgie ad on the TV. I don't know what it is. I've never seen this before. Remember, uh. Oh, you used to um do the uh the light and easy ads back in the day. That's years ago now, like back when you were playing for Hawthorne. So years ago now. Welcome. I'll see if I can fit you in. Switch to momentum. One hundred percent. You're watching Friday night footy on Fox. Got a really good game of footy going at Adelaide Oval. You called for a lift. So one quarter to go. Adelaide came out firing in that third quarter, but then Geelong responding with style there and doubled their lead from two goals to four in that quarter. So everything to play for now, Adelaide sort of can't afford 
to be dropping. You know, need to come out strong with these home games. Let's see Adelaide's next year. So they're away to Freo next week, which I mean, you'd have to you'd have to um from what I mean, depending on what happens with Freo tomorrow against North, but you'd have to say uh, right now Freo at home to Adelaide. No reason why you wouldn't tip Freo in that. Then big game in gather round, obviously against Melbourne. Then away to Carlton. So none of that's too easy. Then they're home to Western and, and then North in Hobart. So it gets a bit easier after that. But yeah, big early game. Interesting stuff. What do you think of the Tassie Devils? Um, yeah, I was saying this before, Diego. I'm very, you know, I'm personally very happy with it in that I would rather we played all our home games in Melbourne. I know we played well in Launceston, but just from, you know, as a supporter, you know, from a supporter's perspective, I'd just rather we played them all in Melbourne, you know, just to myself be able to uh, go to them all. So, yeah, that's my thinking. I mean, maybe just a little bit too biased, just, pu well, you know, purely thinking about the Hawthorne aspect of it rather than, you know, but I, mean, I guess good for Tasmania that they can have a, a team. But yeah. But let me know your thoughts as well. Interesting to see your thoughts as a as a fellow Hawthorne supporter. Oh, there we go. Fourth quarter. About to get underway. Yeah, no, I fully agree, yeah. It's just, you know, not great to be playing, f like, you know, it's not even like one or two, four of 11 home games. It's such a, such a big cost, like as a fan to, you know, have that many games in a different state. It's just, you know, anyway. Adelaide going straight forward, but Geelong clearing it away, but going to come straight back in through Dawson. Dawson just goes for the switch. The shirt is dreadful though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people were saying before. We we're speculating different designs, but yeah, it's a pretty ugly, you know, shape of the state and the tears. You know, I mean it is traditional because that's you know their like traditional design sort of thing. But yeah, nah, no doubt it's not the most attractive looking jumper. Crouch. Shoveling it forward. Holmes trying to claim the mark. No way, it was 15 metres. He opts to just clear it away. Adelaide have the numbers, though. Should be able to send it back in there. They do. High footy. Blitzarv's got it. Wrapped up. Could be holding the ball. Gets the handball away, though. Geelong clear it. Big ball to be won here. Looks like it's going the way of Adelaide, but Geelong applying the pressure. Got to send it back in, though. They do, Adelaide. But kicked it straight to Tom Stewart. Drew and Tyers Football Club, Morwell Football Club, Fish Creek. Drew and Drew and Tyers. I know Drew and the Hawks, mate. That's what I know. Drew and I mean, did you mean Tigers? But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not from Gippsland, so. I have a very limited amount of knowledge about the Gippsland League. But it seems like you know everything about every competition, so... <laughs> Good on now. Still plenty of time here for Adelaide. But sort of mentally it feels like Adelaide come out with a bit of aggression. They need to make it work on the scoreboard. Now, oh, there you go. Now, Geelong into the 50 and Cameron takes the mark. Give me the best. Are you, for, are you from Gippsland? Pole? Or Pole is best YouTube channel? But, yeah. All those lovely, lovely Gippsland places. Crewing. 
Warrigal, Moe, Morwell, Traugan. Jeremy Cameron misses. Could be a handy point, but we'll see. One more behind to uh, the Cats. Brisbane Raw, R A W Raw. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of all these comments are, but I'm 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 loving the uh, all the geography and sports and whatever that we're going through. <coughs> oh jeez. Anyway, <laughs> Texas taking the mark inside fifty for Adelaide. Wait, he said Modra. When did he say Modra? I wasn't paying attention. What did he, when did he say Modra? Saurus isn't happy about it. About 10 seconds ago, yeah, but when though? Like before or after he'd taken the mark? Or when, when was it? Oh, Walker. He nearly missed it. What town are you in? I am in Melbourne town. The town of Melbourne. <sighs> oh, they're reviewing it. Surely it didn't hit the post. No way. I might actually go back here. I know I'll miss out on the next bit, but if you reckon he said Modra, I want to see. Anyway, let me know what's happening with the review. So I'm trying to see if he said Modra. This is how we want him to go, JB. Just this ball movement piercing through the middle. They had three or four short 45. Anyway. Just to take ground. And then once they got centre forward, they moved the ball quick and found Tex 1v1. That's what they need to do. The before the mark, a bit before. All right, all right. Wait, let me check that. Yeah, I feel I'm talking about him. How good's that? But yeah. Well, now I've... um. Yeah, alright. Alright, now they're back in the middle now. I timed that perfectly, but... Yeah, no, nah, interesting to see them talking about Modra. But Adelaide come out of the middle again. I haven't even added their previous goal yet. Tui. Wrapped up. Kola Jasny ball up. But Adelaide starting to build the momentum now. Inside their forward 50. Walker. Kicking it forward again. Straight to Tom Stewart. Spongebob's back. Welcome back, Spongebob. Intriguing game now. With 15 and a half minutes to go. At the moment, you'd think Geelong would be able to control it. But, you know. We'll see. In the ball towards the wing. They could get out the back here, Geelong. Tui to Myers. Into the 50 now. This could be a big moment here for the Cats. And it's a behind. Well. That's that. Behind to the Cats. 20 points. Saurus just praying that the Cats can prevail. Oh, and guess what, guys? After being, maybe having a nap for a couple of hours, the moth, don't know how many of you were in here before, the moth that I was talking about before has suddenly re-emerged and is flying about the place again. <sighs> he just suddenly... 
come back to watch the last quarter, I guess. <laughs> but anyway. 20 point margin of the Cats. Absolute flog that moth. Spot on, Rory. He doesn't even he doesn't even care about the footy. He just, you know, he's doing his own thing. Just get out of here, mate. Trying to interrupt one of the most top-notch live streams in football history. And Geelong going forward. Mark taking by Cameron. Moss, a bad omen. Yeah, a bad omen. Well, I mean, a bad omen for me would probably mean Geelong would win. So, you know. Then, in the meantime, Cameron kicks it behind. Moss thinks he's here. I agree, Rory. Scott on Diego. Darcy. Oh, I know Darcy. I know Darcy. Can feel your pain right now. Geelong just looking too good tonight. Looking like the Geelong of old. Oh, the Moth is doing crazy tricks right now. Stop. Does he not know that the viewers want him to be quiet? Dempsey with the ball on the wing. Kicking it forward. Oh, but good mark. By Butts. Send it down the line for Adelaide. Or just passes it short. Adelaide, 21 points down. They need... They need things to start going their way. Need to be more ambitious than they're being at the moment. But I'll take the game on. Don't get it. Stay sensible, but oh... Is that out on the fall? No, boundary time. Oh, you got to touch it. <laughs> what are you doing, Cameron? Says Soros. Only just seen that, but yeah. Ah, uh, well, you know. Um, maybe he thinks the game's won. He's just trying to keep it close or something. Maybe. Wasn't the easiest kick, so. Yeah. In the fifty, Dawson. Is a go. Couldn't quite. Fogarty. Dempsey. Man who's throwing. O'Connor almost running a trip there or something. Game's not won. <laughs> Soros. Getting a bit irritated here. Wants to keep his mates nice and quiet. But we'll see. I more want to keep Geelong nice and quiet. No offence if we've got any Geelong supporters watching at the moment, which I don't think I don't think we do, but you can't be sure. Oh no. Cut off Myers. Myers kicks it long. Now. Parfit now kicks it inside 50. Mark taken by Cameron. Jeremy Cameron. This through goal number three. Take his time. Oh my goodness. What was that? Bizarre looking kick. He's gone for barrels. More of a mongrel. It's a behind to the Cats. 22 points. These behinds not really doing much. 22 point margin. Myers kicks it short. Now the Cats can go into the 50 again. Patrick Dangerfield. He's got the footy. 60 out. Swings a kick long inside 50. Henry Fly dropped it. Stengel pounces on the footy. Kicks it around his body and kicks it behind. Jeez, they need a. They'd love a goal here, Geelong, to really assert their control in this game because 
Game's not over yet by any means. Still half a quarter to go. They don't want to dwell on these missed opportunities. But as for now, it'll all be okay because they're well in control of the game. So, ball now, 60 out from Geelong's goal. Going to be another ball up. 23-point margin at the Adelaide Oval. Interesting, interesting football. Hard to uh, definitively get a grasp on it even now. Oh, geez, that's an awful kick. Hope it works for him. Miller did well. Kicks up to half forward. Now he's a big moment for Adelaide. Tex is out the back. Oh, he's misfooted it. Couldn't get his boot to keep soccering it on. That was a big moment there. They had a lot of time and space and had numbers. But Geelong stay in control for now. Now going down the line. Hawkins finding it, kicking it out wide. Mark taken by Patrick Dangerfield. Just outside 50 on the boundary. I mean, he can take his 30 seconds, presumably, because there's definitely a chance he can do it. Yes, Walker says Saurus. Commentators talking about um, Robert Walls, another all-time legend. It's funny, I guess I'm not listening to the commentary quite enough to pick up on these things. I guess I'm talking too much, but yes, Robert Walls, another, another legend of the game. Grind Myers. This exact scenario is what he's made his name on. This is to get it out to a 29 point margin and make it very difficult for Adelaide. Oh dear, dear, oh dearie, dearie me. Dear, oh dear. What was that grind? Did it come off the wrong side of his boot? Like what? Just wasn't quite it. But time now is starting to become an issue for the Adelaide Crows. It's funny there, Grind, even a behind would have been quite handy at the moment for Geelong to get it back out to an even four goal margin. Now Dawson with the footy on the wing. Dawson going down the line, jagged down as he kicked it. A free kick for a hole, going the way of Walker. It's funny, the free kicks tonight have been a lot less than last night on the hole, 15 to 8. As Walker, wasting no time, sends it deep to the goal square. Opportunity. Nearly got a boot, but it's a, it's a behind. It's a behind to the LA Crows. Geelong defeating that footy well. 22 points. Valuable time now starting to just tick away from Adelaide. They need something to go their way now. 9862 to 12, 12 84. But now here's a chance for Adelaide. Now they've got a bit of open space. Rochelle, can he kick it inside 50 and find a man? Oh no, well Walker led for the footy, fell over, might not have, probably wouldn't have marked it anyway, I don't think, but it's a poor little mistake there. Twenty-two point margin. Now I just hope Adelaide can make it close while still losing the game. <laughs> yeah, so then they can be really frustrated about it. Yeah. Oh, here's a go. O'Brien has he got it? Jeez, it didn't look good off the boot, but it's found its way through. Huge moment. Big goal for Adelaide. 
Game not over yet. All they need is three goals, and they're still at almost seven minutes. And I don't know about everyone here, but I just love hoodie. I'm loving it. It's exciting stuff. Got mixed opinions here. I think everyone in chat appears to be supporting the Adelaide Crows, except for Saurus. Adelaide get the next three and miss after the siren. I, I think you might mean get the next two now that they've gotten this one. Because obviously three more now and they'd be in front, so... Back in the middle again. Stanley worked it down. 2v1. O'Connor. Flips off. Clark. It wasn't a great handball. Now getting into the important moments of this game. Crouch. Ripped it back in. He's gone here. Well, he's holding the ball against Clark. Well done by Crouch. Adelaide now move it forward. Dawson. Into the 50. Can Tex get there? Couldn't quite. It's out the back though. Fogarty's going to kick a goal. No. no. He hasn't. Oh, Darcy Fogarty. Oh, no. He'd like to have his moment again there. Oh. Oh, in the situation as well. It's not good for football. 15 point margin right now. You just expect Geelong to go forward and kill the game now. Oh dear. Six minutes to go. Still plenty of time though for Adelaide. They're still going to get some opportunities. There's so much space for them now and they're starting to win back the momentum. Cats starting to... Drop off a little bit. Rochelle into the 50. Big moment here. Going in the walker direction. Or Fogarty couldn't quite. He's still searching for it. That could be holding the ball. It's play on, says the umpire. Ball still there. Collar Jasney trying to kick it away. His kick was smothered. Ball still in dispute. Can Tex kick it on the boot? He can, but he misses. 14 points now. Still, I'm sure, dwelling on the previous opportunity. That was really the moment for Adelaide before. Game still clearly not over, but... Missed opportunities. Missed opportunities for Adelaide. They need to keep pressing, though. Still more than five minutes. We're just over. Tui kicks it just straight out of there, but they could bring it back in now. Litzar's hunting it, though. Kicking it away to the wing. Doing very well there. Should be a holding free kick. Butts will get the free kick. Could be 50. He's telling Myers to move out. He didn't. We move. Kicking it. O'Brien flying for it. Geelong of the numbers. Wrapped up. O'Connor by Rankin. Probably just a ball up. And it will be. Four and a half minutes. Need a goal very soon, Adelaide. Couple of missed opportunities now. They need to get one goal. Crouch did well. Dawson into the 50. High ball straight to Tom Stewart. And that's not how you win games of football. Not by kicking it to Tom Stewart. Now Geelong just really looking to slow the game down now. If they can take a minute off this clock, it becomes near impossible for Adelaide. Now, terrible kick. It's gone out of bounds. Please hold on, Geelong. Please don't kick a goal. <laughs> Soros. A lot of emotion in this one for Soros. <laughs> Nearly wanting Adelaide to lose as much as he wants his pies to win. Gone six ticks out of 14 games so far. Need this one. Well, I'm guessing you tipped Adelaide then. But yeah, not looking good. My tip started off quite well. Like, opening round, I got... Three, he didn't tip Carlton though, but starting to get a bit pear-shaped for me now. And obviously tipping Hawthorne is never going to do me any good, but... Oh, well, still love, still love him. 
Meantime, ball up inside Adelaide's forward 50. Three minutes 44 to go. How about this? Says Rory. I agree, Rory. Edwards footy. Holmes clears it. Butts. Gets it again to O'Brien. He doesn't have it, but Bandy throwing. Three and a half minutes. Valuable time is just ticking away for the Adelaide Crows. They need a goal very soon to keep the door even slightly ajar now. So they're up against a well-experienced side who you'd expect to keep their heads here. The ball up. Three minutes 18 to go. Geelong by 14 points. Dago got a lot of footy. Spot on, mate. Spot on. Need something to work for them. Geelong clearly looking very happy to just lock this ball up. A dangerous kick down the corridor. Could be an opportunity now. Here's a go. They kick it inside the 50. Keys did well to keep it in front of him. But Dempsey charging at it did well. Getting it to Tui. Tui, can he find his way through? He can. And the Cats clear it towards the boundary. And the boundary line, a great result for them. So it's a boundary now on the wing. Boundary throw in. Just under three minutes to go. And becoming increasingly unlikely for the Crows now. They'll need something special now to be any sort of chance. Henry, Henry did well. Oh, now into the 50. Chance here for Walker. But Jack Henry happy to take it over. Bandry throwing now inside Adelaide's 50. You'd think they'd need a goal from this piece of play. Sora saying, hold on, Geelong. You'd think now, surely things will go the way of Soros. Can Adelaide kick a goal and make it a bit interesting? Stewart finding his way through. Keys, however, passing on. It gives away a high tackle. And that's all pretty simple there for Holmes. Winning himself the ball. And he can slow the game right down. Only just over two minutes to go now. And Geelong looking nearly home now. Into the wing. That's out on the full. Don't know what Close was thinking there. I think it was Close. Into the 50. Fogarty. Butts. Into the 50. High touch ball. Ball in dispute there. Too congested. Ball up. A minute 40 to go. And this game looks to be pretty much over now. Geelong look like they're going to do enough to win it. Diogo saying game over. Yeah, you'd think so now. Kicking it towards the wing now. Geelong is another chance to put some icing on it, maybe. Not many players down that half of the ground. They get it to close. Into the 50. This could be the ball game right here. Stengel kicks it long. Running to it in the goal square is Myers who grabs it and kicks a goal and that's the game. Geelong going to secure an upset win here on a Friday night. Soros will be happy. Not sure about myself or some of the other people in here but credit to Geelong. They've been definitely the better side tonight. So... Well deserved from the Cats. Now with a minute and 12 seconds to go. Saw us all she wrote. That's right. That's all she wrote. Geelong just too good for Adelaide tonight. Big moments now. They're not big moments now. I don't know why I said that. Game's over. A minute and 12 seconds. It's been an interesting game of football. Sort of wish there was a goal the other way just to add a bit of interest. But Geelong going out of the middle here, they could 
Really had a bit of icing on it now. Ball going deep. Bouncing on, no way. Well, that's quite something. Closest kick, I think it was. Was it? I don't know. It was bounced all the way, and it's... Yeah, I think it was, and it's a goal to Geelong. 26-point margin. And really... Making it look a bit... Making sure of it now. But yeah, definitely the better side. Think about how interesting things would be if Adelaide kicked that goal just before and now <laughs> kicked another straight out of the middle. We'd be back to a two-point margin. But anyway, Geelong, yeah, been too good. Deserve the win. And they'll get the win. They'll be 2-0. and And the Crows will be 0-2. Crouch, doing well. So Adelaide has had periods of good play tonight, but they haven't been able to... Perfect kicking it forward, and the ball will reach the wing. And they will start the season zero and... And we throw in. Come on then, the catter says, Luca. you don't mind. That's right. Who do we... <laughs> Saurus excited to text his mates. Go for it, mate. You deserve it. After um, my understanding is them criticising you last night. So fair enough. Good job, AFL Tube says Holly. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for the uh, the very generous donation before. Yeah, Luca. You'd be wrapped with this, mate. Rankin in the pocket. Oh, Rankin. Well, Isaac Rankin has done some crazy Eddie Betts stuff from Eddie Betts' pocket. Which is funny, even though with the, other, the other pockets where he's kicked like three goals of the year, but yet that was still his original pocket. But yeah, Isaac Rankin kicks a superb goal. A good, very many consolation prize for Adelaide. What a goal. So 11 seconds to go on a Friday night. This is all she wrote. So not a great bounce, but it works out all right. Adelaide charging through the middle. Crouch. O'Brien has a shot for goal. It's punched through by Henry for a behind. And it'll be a 19-point margin. In favour of the Cats. Full time at the Adelaide Oval. What are our immediate thoughts, everyone? That makes three upsets from the three games I've live streamed now. But credit to Geelong, just too good tonight. But yeah, disappointing from an Adelaide perspective. They certainly... I mean, you can easily excuse their loss last week. Did alright then in the end to make it respectable and take it to the wire last week. But Adelaide... It's not what they'd be wanting tonight. They would have certainly come into tonight hoping for a win and, you know... Not ideal for them. That's a... 19 point win to Geelong and from a Geelong perspective they'll be absolutely wrapped with that but yeah Rory saying footy 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 meat pie beers v beans some lads how about it that's the dream Rory you've just said the dream right there so you know well what do we reckon about Geelong now not many people predicting them in the finals. I mean, everyone, obviously, you would have thought would give them a chance, but, yeah, they're starting to prove themselves as, I guess, a quality outfit. Good effort from Geelong. 
And they're two wins from two now. The start of the 2024 season. I mean, it would be remarkable, really, if Geelong found a way to come back again, you know what I mean? Like, never down and out for very long, so... Yeah, thanks for the stream, says Saurus. Thanks for tuning in all night again, Saurus, like you've done every time. Good on you, mate. Absolute legend. Absolute legend of the channel. And also Rory as well. You've been in here pretty much all night as well. Good stuff. Holly with the big donation before. That was sensational. Moment of the night, clearly. But yeah. Full time at the... um. At the Adelaide Oval, Geelong winning it by 19 points. If anyone has some final thoughts, whatever they want to talk about, you know, I might wrap it up shortly. What do we, what do we reckon? What's our reaction to that game? Not quite what I expected. Obviously, not too surprising given, you know, as soon as Geelong came out though, I did sort of feel like, you know, even then when Adelaide wrestled it back in the third quarter, you sort of felt like, you know, Geelong still. You know, it still sort of felt like more of a Geelong game than an Adelaide game, if that made sense. If that makes sense. One word, disappointed, says Rory. These things happen. That's football, Rory. That's football for you. These things happen. Very good game, says Saurus. Saurus is wrapped. Rory isn't. And that's the summary of the night, I guess. But Geelong, two and zip. Who would have thought? Who would have thought they'd be... I mean, it's not overly unpredictable, but still, you know, good effort from them. Yeah. Geelong now have 10 days off, don't they? But they'll be 2-1 and one Geelong, as we all know. They're not going to win their next game. And why is that, everyone? Of course, you know, because they're playing Hawthorne. So, yeah, any last thoughts, comments, whatever... Wrap it up in a couple of minutes, so yeah. Exciting game of football. Intriguing game of football. And in the end, you'd have to say the better side won. Both I'm going to smoke him, Saurus. Hope you're right, hope you're right, Saurus. We can, we can only pray. But first, we've got things to think about before then. We'll see how Hawthorne go tomorrow. It's sort of almost like a pre-game ritual now, because I did it last week. So, you know, like the night before a Hawthorne game, doing my ceremony of um, of my live stream. So, yeah. Cheers for the stream, Tubi. Great to tune in once again. Hope the Hawkers can get it done in the next few weeks. Up the Zebras. Good on you, Rory. Good on you. Thanks for tuning in again all night. Yeah, I appreciate the kind words about the Hawks. Let's all hope we can get the job done tomorrow and uh, hope your Zebras can uh, get get some wins on the board now with the VFL season starting this weekend. So, good stuff. Diego says legend. Nah, Diego, you're the legend, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Let's both hope the Hawks win tomorrow. Good luck for the Hawks tomorrow. Yeah, cheers, Saurus. Yeah, boys, if, um, yeah, if we get the job done tomorrow, that'll be one of the most... Exciting, well, the most exciting moment of the year so far, obviously. But yeah, nah. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I might wrap it up there. Uh, no more streams for me this weekend. Quite busy, but yeah. Hopefully see you all again. Potentially, you know, sometime next week for another for another live stream. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Everyone is tuned in now, and a lot of you have been around across the night. Good Friday, maybe, says Rory. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that, true. North Melbourne, Carlton, but yeah. But thanks for tuning in tonight, everyone. Um, and I'll, uh... Anna says she's back pretty late to say that, but yeah. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you and goodbye.